time to start buckling down and practicing. But first, I need to actually develop a practice regimen and figure out what tools I'm going to use to make that possible. Last week, I ruled out the guitar as an effective tool for learning to play the guitar. And the reasons I gave were that it didn't really seem to fit with the criteria that I look for when I'm evaluating a learning tool. Specifically, it was not realistic and strict enough. The three criteria being that it's realistic, strict, and fun. So I didn't really get the chance to look at the fun aspect because it didn't pass the realism or the strictness bars. This week, I'm going to take a look at two other tools. Musician, which was previously known as Guitar Bots, and also Rocksmith. Both of these are pieces of software, games actually, that are very similar actually to games like Guitar Hero or Rock Band, except that you can use real instruments and they purport to actually teach you real music, which sounds very cool. So I'm going to take a look at those and also at their limitations and their successes and how you can kind of use them to construct a proper regimen, how we you can create, take these pieces of software and create a structure that makes sense because in, in the end I think we'll see that no piece of software does everything. No piece of software can completely replace a teacher and uh, a full practice regimen, but they can be incorporated in. So I'm going to talk about that at the end, but first let's have a look at Musician and Rocksmith. So first up is Musician. As I said, it was previously called Guitar Bots. And I actually played around a little bit with Guitar Bots before I found out that they had uh, kind of rebranded or upgraded their software. And Musician is definitely a big step forward in terms of the technology, uh, in terms of the kind of learning tool that they're presenting. The original Guitar Bots didn't have any real educational aspect to it. It just kind of threw you into this piece of software that was evaluating um, your ability to play along to a song. And the, the new piece of software, Musician, is now something that you download. It's a game that you download onto your desktop. Uh, I believe it supports both Mac and PC. And you uh, play along to the song, but there's also different tracks. So you can either play as the lead guitar track or rhythm guitar track, uh, and in each of the tracks, as you progress down that track, there are videos that help you along and explain to you what you're about to learn, and I, I think that it's really starting, or attempting at least, to supplement the idea of actually having a guitar teacher, which is pretty cool. I mean, for people who might not have access to a guitar teacher, for people who are looking to learn something that, um, doesn't involve necessarily trekking across town. That's a really cool advantage. Of course, you know, there's no feedback aspect there. You can't ask a video questions. So there will always be that limitation in terms of educational um, capacity, I guess. But that being said, it's definitely a big step forward. And what the, the place where this really shines is the software itself. What's great about Musician is I'm using an acoustic guitar here, and I don't actually need to plug anything in. I don't need any special tools. It's a microphone on my computer, uses that, and the software. That's it. I've got a tuner open on the screen right now, and I can actually play a note, and it'll help me tune the guitar. Now, it should hopefully already be in tune here. So I'm going to go start this song. And depending on how well you can actually see the screen, you'll notice that it actually tells me what notes to be playing by virtue of simply showing the frets on the screen. simple, pretty straightforward. It shows you the number indicating which fret you need to play. 
and the string on the screen, and you play along. And it will give you some feedback to say, as to how good your timing was, for example. If you hit the note perfectly, it will say perfect. If you're a little bit early or a little bit late, it will tell you that. And it is giving you that sort of real-time feedback. So that is actually quite effective and quite good. You're able to monitor in real time how you're doing. This conforms to that idea of um, strictness. And it's certainly realistic based upon the notion that I'm using a real guitar. Um, one point of it, that it does lose a little bit of, um, of realism to some degree is the fact that you're playing this music that's not necessarily a real song. In fact, most of the song library that it offers are some sort of proprietary music that they've come up with, which feels pretty good, but it's not necessarily anything that you've heard before. And that can detract a little bit from the fun and a little bit from the realistic aspects of those three, three criteria that I've talked about, but not in any huge meaningful way. The one thing that I think um, really sticks out about Musician is that it's free to try and you can play it for a certain amount of time each day without paying anything. So for somebody who's just like grabbing a guitar, get in front of a computer and wants to use something that's going to help them get going, I think this is a really great option. They present the videos to you, they present this kind of like entertaining way to play along. Uh, there are definitely some limitations to it. I think that as you start to play more and more, you realize that there's not um, there, there's not very, a huge breadth of technique in the sense that there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of uh, hammer-ons and different uh, different unique content to it. The place that musician seems to shine in my mind is that it provides a, a good kind of like technical practice area that you can just kind of work over and over a given song or a specific lick. They will actually uh, repeat it. Uh, you, can, you can loop it over and over at a lower speed and work on something that you're struggling with until you get it just perfect. So as a kind of um, evaluative tool, as something that is able to take what you're doing and to tell you how well you're doing it, I think that's really valuable. For me, that's exactly what I needed coming into this. As somebody who did not really understand music that well, and who did not have a, a good sense of rhythm, I couldn't hear in the beginning if I was dragging or you know, if, my, if I wasn't playing the note at exactly the right time. And software like this really helps me to understand that by quantifying, by saying, yes, you did it right, or no, you did it wrong, I can actually immediately correct. And that's the important part for learning. That's the element of like, okay, got it. I, you know, I was a little too late, I was a little too early, I'm gonna do better next time. And you keep trying, and you keep trying, and eventually you get it right. So that's some ways that the musician software is very, very good. And by and large, uh, it seems to recognize notes well, it seems to pick up everything quite effectively, though I, I definitely did have some frustration at times with chords not necessarily being recognized uh, perfectly, and that's when it's hard to know if it's you, if it's the technology, if it's the guitar, all of them were really possible. I mean, this is a $50 guitar from the pawn shop. It is not <laughs> the best instrument in the world. And especially when I was starting, I was just starting to develop those calluses on my fingertips. And there's a period of time when you accidentally mute strings, you accidentally um, don't uh, play things just perfectly. And that period of time is, is difficult to know. Like, am I doing it wrong? Is the game uh, not quite doing it right? And that's where some human interaction But that being said, it was still a very effective tool for me, and even at the very beginning, and I found it to be a very useful way to kind of kickstart my learning in guitar. Next up, I'm going to talk about Rocksmith. It's a game from a very large game company called Ubisoft, and it is very well produced and quite exciting.
exceptional in my mind. The things that really make it stand out are that it actually includes a huge library of music, and as a result, it's significantly more fun than any other practice technique that I've come across so far, because the music is real, it's actual songs that you know and have heard before, and that is just a lot of fun. One other interesting thing that Rocksmith does is that a song, the difficulty level at which you are playing is not easy, medium, or hard. Rather, it's a percentage from zero to 100%. And as you get better, as you play better, it bumps you up a little bit further and further in that difficulty percentage. And what they've managed to do really well is that at any given point in time, it's not as though you're bored. It's not like you're um, playing something that doesn't sound like the song. Because you've got everything else going on in the music, because the, you're actually hearing the rest of the accompaniment with you, you're quite entertained even when you're playing a song on a low difficulty. And then slowly it starts adding in more and more pieces, more and more notes, and it just seems to kind of come together around you as the song gets more difficult. Another thing that they've done very well is to suggest to you what to do next. For example, the game will actually detect that you're struggling with a particular verse or a particular technique like hammer-ons or pull-offs or slides or bends. Any of these things, it will actually say, hey, you're having a hard time with this. Let's slow this part down and repeat it. Or let's play this little mini game, this kind of like arcade game to help you with this particular skill. And as a result, there's always something next to do. And this is a fundamental video game design principle that uh, video game designers know to use, is to always have that next, like, oh, you finished this? Congratulations. Now here's the next thing to do. Here's something that sounds fun as well, right as you're coming off of the last kind of high from the last accomplishment. I can't tell you how many times I've been sitting there playing Rocksmith repeating one particular verse over and over, and finally nailing it, being so excited, and then, oh, it ups the difficulty, and you start all over again, trying to play it at a higher difficulty. So the, the high emotion of being like, yes, I did it, is immediately followed with, okay, now to try the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing, and the next thing, and before you know it, hours have gone by. So I'm actually very impressed with this tool. Uh, a couple things about how it works. You've got the output jack from electrical guitar, and this differs from musician in the sense that it doesn't support acoustic guitars. You do need to use an electric, and that's kind of appropriate for the type of music that exists in Rocksmith. Well, this output jack that it comes with, the game itself comes with, plugs directly into a computer. The other end of it is a USB. And the result of that, I think, is that the accuracy for the game is very high because it has a direct input from the actual instrument into the computer, or if you're playing it on Xbox into the console, it means that it can detect very, very precisely if you are hitting the right note or not. And I, as a result, have more confidence in Rocksmith than I do in, say, Musician or uh, guitar that it's going to detect that I'm playing the correct note and it won't give me false positives or false negatives. Actually playing the game, well, it comes with a lot of different uh, preloaded songs, so you can buy one of a couple different versions of the game and it'll come with dozens at least of different pieces of music and you can download or buy more. The only thing I found a little bit awkward about Rocksmith is the interface did feel a little weird for, to me for quite some time. The way the strings are arranged in terms of like the vertical stacking on the screen felt a little bit strange, but that might just be me. So now it's time to talk about what a piece of software, what a tool can do, and what it can't do. What are the limitations of using an educational tool? Well, what it can do is detect when you are making mistakes. Computers are great at that. They're really good at saying, like, nope, that's wrong or that's right. 
And that means that you get faster, accurate feedback. And that is good. But the bad part is that a computer cannot customize that feedback. It cannot, like a music teacher, tell you, oh, you're muting a string, and that's why you didn't get this particular note. Or you really should play this particular part of the riff with your fingers in this position because it's a chord. As a result, you, when using software, can create some really bad habits. And that's where there is still a role for scholarship, for collaboration, and for really being taught by a human being. So for me, these are all supplementary techniques. They're all things I'm going to introduce into my learning practice. There was a great podcast recently on the Freakonomics podcast about this idea of temptation bundling. And I've been using that idea, this notion of taking something that you like doing and something you don't like doing and putting them together so that you are more willing to do the thing you don't like doing. A good example is chords and scales. Well, practicing chords and scales are kind of unfortunately one of the more boring parts of learning music. But Rocksmith is my reward for doing my chords and my scales every day. And that's just one way amongst many that I'll talk about later on that I'm using to kind of supplement and build an overall educational program for myself. So this video has been a review of these two tools, Musician and Rocksmith, within the context of the framework that I introduced last time. Is it realistic? Is it strict? And is it fun? I think these tools both pass those tests. And if you're looking for something free, Musician is a really good option and also works with acoustic guitars. If you're looking for something um, that's going to cost you a few bucks but might be even more fun to play, then I think Rocksmith is a really good option. You can get both of them online. From, uh, Rocksmith can be ordered from Amazon. Again, musician can work with an acoustic, but Rocksmith will require an electric guitar. 